Well, no, you can't fix the problems at a press conference. Um, and so sit back and see what's ahead. But I felt that didn't feel like an execution problem or an X's and O's problem. That felt coming off a bye week, about a shocking, surprising, not that they lost. I mean, by the time we got to Friday, I thought Wisconsin would win the game. Um, picked them on the air. But what was surprising was the fact that they didn't even look like they competed. I know you say you don't think it was an X's and O's thing, and they had two weeks. And th- listen, nothing's going to make the fan base feel any better, all right? But something a little bit, for me today, Jim Harbaugh, he would have just came out and said, this isn't on the players. This is on all of the coaching staff. We let them down. We, we should have been, been a lot better, and it's on us, and we got to do better. You know what I mean? Just... I know you wanted some fire and brimstone, but I mean that might have helped a little bit. It didn't seem like he was going to go there at all today, but what fire and brimstone? Or yeah, exactly. I mean, he wasn't going to slam the, the podium, but put it all on yourself and the coaching staff. Then you know we let the players down, which let the fan base down. And you you might not think it's X and O's, but you know what? They got clearly out coached, out played everything you can ask for. They got outdid on on Saturday, but. Maybe that helps win back the fan base saying, hey, that's that's them taking responsibility. I know he just said it, but say it with more meaning, more passion like you asked for. Well, hey, look, it, it, all things are on the table at this point. Like I, I said at the beginning of the show, y- there are things absolutely they need to do better from an X's and O's standpoint. But what I saw this past week was more troubling than anything X's and O's. This isn't second guessing a play call or I mean, it was they didn't they didn't compete. A team game. That, that did not look like a top 25 team. No. Um, and I tend to think Michigan is, but not not by the looks of that game. Now, a lot of that could simply be that Wisconsin is a top 10 team. They deserve a lot of credit. We've done that today. We've checked that box. We want to let everybody know. And, yes. And I do think Wisconsin's that good of a team. But I also, I don't think Michigan's that good of a team. I, I think they're going to, they should win maybe nine games, nine, ten, an out, an outside chance of 10 games. Um, but that's not what Michigan fans want. That's not what they expected. And they set the bar very high. And Harbaugh hasn't lived up to that. The season's not over with. They can get on a run. They can figure things out and go for it. They've got they've got good personnel on the team. Um, if they could figure out the the right schemes and how to do things, they can go on a run. And who knows? Maybe by the time you're you're facing Ohio State, everything's on the line again. You don't know. And it could very well be that that way. Well, and, but that's the only way that you're going to win the fan base back is by winning that last game. That seems a hard, like a, a long, long, long way off to be, even be thinking about trying to get it to there. Right now, they need to focus on, on getting back to fundamentals. I hope there was a players-only meeting. I hope there was a team meeting because it seems to me like those things can serve as resets. They're probably overrated, but you're like, okay, flush what's happened so far. Let's reset and I'll be on the same page moving forward. I've been a part of you know the broadcast team since 2006, and so I've seen teams that look completely like they were a lost cause. They go through a stretch of games where they don't look right. The, the biggest example was the end of Lloyd's 2006 season, the beginning of the 2007 season, when they lost the one-versus-two game against Ohio State. They got beat pretty soundly by USC in the Rose Bowl. They opened the next season with a low point in Michigan football and losing to App State. And then it got even lower because they got annihilated the next week at home by Oregon. And that team turned it around, had a pretty good year. But, you know, that – so it can happen. And I didn't think the opener against Middle Tennessee, yeah, that's not reason to panic because I've seen teams – turn it around and then you see game two and you go well that could be a service academy because service academies do that to people but now it's like no 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 there's there are big problems after this one there are big problems that need to get addressed and if if they don't it's going to be a multiple loss season i don't i don't know how many losses but it could be a lot because the schedule is no cakewalk well it's on both sides of the ball that's the issue is that it's not just one simple fix oh it just give it time the offense will click i mean they got problems offensively they got problems defensively it's it's just not a good look right now nope let's get back to your phone calls phil is into comp scene he's on 97 on the ticket hey good to talk to you guys hey, i got a champ i got a champ and chump 
I'm championing the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers who took the curse back from the Lions yesterday, and now they're going to have it for 20, 30 years, I'm thinking, you know? So now so, how do they, 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 the they take it back? Because they hit the upright. They had a typical Lions moment in their game, and, and we had a typical un-Lions moment in our game. The, the curse was lifted yesterday. I could almost see it leaving. Wow. You guys couldn't see I didn't know. I didn't, know I, mean, I didn't notice it left. I mean, it's interesting because you're right. The Lions had a, a field goal that was blocked, and it didn't cost them the game uh, late yeah. in the game when everybody in the world thought that was going for a touchdown. In fact, it didn't go for a touchdown, and it got uh, – hauled back a little bit because of a penalty, and yet the Buccaneers looked like they were going to lose in a heartbreaker because the Giants had scored a touchdown with very little time left. They come right back down the field, an opportunity to to win the game with the last second field goal, and it hits the upright. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for helping me make my point, Gator. Yeah, the problem is uh, that uh, they've won a Super Bowl in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Okay, and and uh, I got to jump these these Michigan fans who are just like jump on and off the bandwagon like nothing, you know. It's like what happened? What happened to the Buckeyes last year? Walking into Purdue of all places and getting blown out by more than thirty, and they go on and win the Big Ten. And so let's let's not put too much stock in a bad day. You know, you don't know what's going on with these kids. And, well, that's an and, optimistic way to look at it. Um, I would well, say sorry. that the programs are in, in dramatically different places. <laughs> um, you know, the, the, you may think. Uh, okay. Don't Do you think they are? Well, last year, the Buckeyes struggled throughout a lot of the early year, and, and they had to make some adjustments, and luckily with their talent that they always seem to have, they, you know, they pulled it pulled it back together but they did win the big 10 well it, i mean it's still possible this doesn't feel like an a, and appreciate the phone call you may be right call back and tell us at the end of the year that you're right but the this doesn't feel like a just one loss kind of loss i mean there were no it doesn't this it, is this feels like a loss that you start looking ahead in the schedule and say okay what else are they going to lose are they going to lose iowa are they going to lose uh to michigan state are they going to lose uh, to penn state how many losses are going to be on this uh, this ledger by the end of the season? Let's Is the to, coach still going to be around? Let's go to James. You're next year on 97 on the ticket. Hi, James. Hello. Hey, Hello, James. James. Yes. Like I, I was saying, that man should be fired because the, uh, he's one and nine in the big games. He, we haven't won no big games yet. We lost to Notre Dame, and that's one of our rivals. And we we not we we we're not good on offense or defense. So our defense is offense not good. We going we, we I feel like we're going backwards instead of going forward. And it's like don't bring the kids, don't bring the coaches. It's the coach fault. And I think it's Jim Hall fault, but Jim Harbaugh fault. And I don't think he's doing a good job. And I think he's need to be gone by the end of the year. If we knew for if we knew four games, I think he should be gone. Oh, well, and that's, that's um. Thank you, James. It's a take. Ninety-seven won the ticket.